Results are in. Wilfred, what can you tell us this morning? Good morning, guys. Great to hear from you. As you say, results are in and the polls were right. That's the key. Macron and Le Pen through to the second round. Wild celebrations last night at their respective headquarters, but devastating result for the two main political parties in France that came third and fifth, respectively. The first time in 60 years that those two parties won't be contesting the second round runoff. And either way, whatever the result of the 6th of May runoff, this is a wake up call for the political elites. Uh, across all of Europe, and don't forget, lots of elections to come over the next 12 months uh, on the European continent. The result was close, though. Uh, Fillon and Mélenchon, a close third and fourth. Either way, as you guys have been saying, markets are rallying. Why are they rallying? Well, here's why. The first reason, the polls got round one right, and they are predicting a strong victory for Emmanuel Macron in round two. Second, uh, Francois Fillon, the centre-right candidate, got about 19 per cent. He was quick to endorse Macron. Uh, and third, Le Pen did not win round one. She only came second. So markets enjoying all of those factors. But could those expectations be wrong? Well, it's worth noting that Jean-Luc Mélenchon, the far left candidate, also got around 20 percent of the vote, has not endorsed Macron. Uh, and how is Le Pen positioning herself uh, ahead of the second round vote? Well, she's called on, quote, all patriots to free France from, quote, arrogant political elite. She's also labeling Macron as the heir to the unpopular current president, Francois Hollande, and she's framed this vote as a referendum on unbridled globalization, which she said is threatening French civilization. All in all, though, her task is tough, highlighted by how quickly we saw quite severe protests break out against Le Pen across France. These are videos of those protests here in Paris, albeit somewhere uh, that, of course, uh, did not really vote for Marine Le Pen. The bottom line, as you've already pointed out, though, markets, polls, odds all point to a strong Macron victory on the 6th of May. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.